What's up guys, Gracie Rex here or Tower Gracie and today I'll be reviewing the 21165 the B Farm set. This this has a total of 238 pieces and retails for $20 uh, dollars in the US and um uh, also this is yeah this is a Lego Minecraft set uh and uh, let's jump right onto it. I wanna start off with my favorite uh character of this set, it's the villager. <laughs> I'm a big fan of villagers. Um, I love them. Um, they're probably my, one of my favorite mobs that you can trade with them. They're very cool. Um, and this is exclusive because actually with the new villager update, they add these levels uh, or uh, uh, that the villagers can level up and the more you trade with them. And as you can see, this is a gold level villager. Once you find a, a villager that is non-leveled up, it will it will be uh, like some sort of uh, silver metal. And it looks like this has been pretty leveled up, uh, leveled up to a gold level. So yeah, this is an exclusive print. Uh, this tor torso is exclusive. The face, um, not so much, but uh, yeah, villagers are pretty rare uh, to find in a set this cheap. They're, they only come in like a few sets, which is, I'm very happy to get this one. Uh, so this is my first villager, and uh, I like the nice little cloak design on this one. Uh, the head can pop up. It is not connected at all yeah i really like the head and the nose is a little dipped out and they even have a little printing for the nose and the eyes you can see the emerald green is a love emerald so much and uh yeah that's it that's it for this one and here is the beekeeper minifigure um i really like this and on bedrock edition you can actually get this um beekeeper outfit or well, not outfit just um shirt or jacket uh it's very nice uh yeah exclusive to bedrock and lego loves to focus their sets around bedrock and uh i really uh, like that i personally play bedrock um you know because bedrock is focuses on more uh, uh consoles and uh cheaper equipment because not all kids um play with a uh, computer that much parents don't like them to play with that so um you know it's nice that they're revolving it around bedrock just like the the end battle set that was uh introduced in 2019 with the exclusive bedrock edition uh skin and yeah you can get this in bedrock um edition this b jacket i don't know if it's available anymore but you can get it for free um nice little head print this is exclusive the exclusive minifigure which is very nice the legs aren't exclusive it's a uh, dark brown. The, my phone doesn't capture a lot of some sort of details. Um, it's not that bright for, for my uh, phone. Well, my camera is my phone, so yeah, it doesn't really capture that. Uh, I believe this is new. It's a Litra piece. Very nice to get. Comes off like so. And uh, you can open it. Like so. Or you can close it like this. Yeah, very nice the yellow head uh, mold and uh, no arm printing. Um, of course, it's just, this is a Minecraft minifigure. And um, yeah, you got some back printing also. This is what the beekeeper looks like without the wings. And I kind of like the the little uh, hood that they have here and the stripes. Very nice, very bee-ish. And uh, it looks like a little nice gold, gold shovel. And Lego Minecraft, they love to uh, put golden tools in their sets. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of golden tools myself in the game, but, um, you know, it's just Lego. They, they, you know, they can do whatever they want. And in this set, it also comes with four of these little uh, bees, uh, bee uh, figures. Uh, well, you wouldn't really call them figures, but uh, yeah, that's what uh, I call them. And they, and Lego, says this is a figure so uh, or mob oh uh, well it, of course it is a mob but uh yeah what i noticed is that these these are super long and if you just take out that that looks so much better but uh yeah they they uh focus too much on the stripes and um yeah that, they kind of messed up there but still a uh, pretty cute little bee a uh, nice little print with the big cute eyes uh, the set also comes with four angry bees, which I'll talk about later in the video. But, um, yeah, let's move on with uh, stuff, and that's it for this one. 
And this set also comes with one baby sheep. Uh, pretty simple. And sheep print, pretty old. And, uh, yeah. And now we're done with the figures. We can finally talk about the actual set. Uh, this is pretty nice. Um, uh, I've got a little farm right here. And you can see that the bees are pollinating it. Uh, which is very nice because in the game, you can use bees to uh, pollinate your plants and uh, to make your crops grow a lot faster. You can also, uh, it adds a little nice display element right there so you can display the set a little better. And um, yeah, you got three flowers right here. And uh, it was a bit weird putting these flowers because they're very, it's a very tight space. And the crops also um, are very nice. You got wheat right there or carrots. I don't know, but I, I call that wheat. And, of course, there's holes to fit other Minecraft sets. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, the farm. And, um, it uh, looks to me that this, um, uh, with the pig house set, you can connect, um, the pig house right here. So, yeah, a little extension to your farm. Uh, I really like the villager. Um, the bees right here is a little moving on right here. Uh, a little nice function where the bees can chase down whatever uh wh or whoever is attacking them very nice very satisfying actually but yeah very nice feature uh kids will love to play with this around for a long time <laughs> maybe i'm having a little fun with it but um yeah l like i said before there comes the set comes with four angry bees that uh you put it right here and uh, there's also four bees uh, hanging around, which I'll talk about in a bit. Now a little nice spot to put the uh, sheep, uh, the baby sheep right here. Um, yeah, so the beekeeper can fly around, and uh, the villager stands right here next to the uh, swarm of angry bees, which is a little bit weird. But, you know, the instructions told me to put him there, and I will follow the instructions. And, um, yeah, moving away, uh, this, uh, these figures, uh, you can see this fire right here, and, um, actually, it kind of makes sense because, uh, bees don't like smoke, and it dry, kind of drives them away, so that's very nice, um, addition to, uh, like, real life, so, yeah, it's pretty nice, that, uh, because bees don't like smoke, and fire makes smoke. And, um, I believe, I kind of watched Ash and Flash video, and I believe this is stripped oak logs. I thought it was, like, other hives, you know, that don't have a big hole in them, like this one does. Uh, so yeah, you get two blocks of stripped wood, or oak wood, which is very nice. Never before seen in, like, Minecraft, but there's no exclusive elements or anything. Just got a little bee sitting right there, and, you know... They stack up on each other so kids can uh put it wherever they want. They got little honeycombs right here, which um I personally don't like them right, right there. Um I I like to put them inside the the tree right here. And uh more about this tree, um you can actually um there's a little space for one bee right here. Now what's weird is that there's um there's actually um, not, uh, uh, yeah, just so, so there's, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, stripped oak logs, uh, very nice, uh, there's a little bee right here, and also, what's really cool, I just sent in a mention, I kind of made this up, and, uh, and also, there's a little honey right there, yellow, uh, tiles, which I think, which I, I personally think it's honey. You put a little bee in there, and you can, you can launch it out, like so. And how you launch it, there's a hole right here. And, um, there's space for one bee right there, and you kind of flick it out. Like a flick fire missile. And, um, yeah, the hive is kind of up, up the tree, just like in the game, which is very nice. Uh, see? There's a little birch wood tree, and uh, what's funny is that in the instructions, it tells you, it doesn't actually tell you to build it like this. Uh, the box kind of told me, because it build, it allows you to build it different than the box. Uh, 
which is, uh, it kind of says, like, oh, you have flip it, like this, and, um, so yeah, that was weird, because on the box, the, di the, the person who built the set, built the set, and put it on the box photo, uh, they built the birch tree wrong, but actually, I like it better than what the instructions did, I hope they fix that sometime, the instructions, so yeah, you can move that B around, however you want, this is a really fun set for children, and, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to talk about this tree right now, because, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So, um, let's take out this tree right here. You take out this tree top right here, and you can put one little bee right here, or two. Actually, I want to test out that theory, if you can put two bees there. Jeez. Oh, uh, let's try closing it. No, it does not fit. So yeah, two bees not fit inside here. Let's set them aside for now. And what was weird here that I want to talk about so bad is that if you take out this bee and uh, you see a little hole, a uh, stud right here, uh, there's a there's a stud in here, and this set tells you you put him like this. So I try really hard to put it on that stud, but it is impossible. That stud right there, that two by two jump uh jumper plate is totally useless because you know the bee can't fit in there so i put it there they could have just easily put a two by two tile uh green tile it would be so easy to do and uh yeah that's it for that little feature so yeah um after we're done with that um i just want to say that this set can connect to other minecraft sets uh I haven't done uh, over the years or uh, part of New Wave. Um, I tried connecting it with the mindset, which I recently got. Uh, check out my video uh, in my playlist that I just made. And uh, yeah, so uh, there's nothing much else to talk about here. I just, uh, it's kind of cool to see the honey comes down there because the honey is kind of dripping out of the hive. But um, I personally like it in here. Just store it away. Because um, it just um, wastes space right there. Uh, and uh, what I like about these honeycombs is that they make a uh, great flooring. If you want to make like a room mock, um, cool mocks like houses or rooms um, or like a checker table, uh, it'll be very cool. Or a carpet. Uh, so yeah, I really, I personally love that. I'll probably buy some of those in the future, like like a hundred of them or so. But yeah, I really like. I really like how the set turned out, and, uh, yeah, there's nothing much else to talk about here, so, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and, uh, take a look at the overall of the set, the box, instructions, and if I recommend it or not. So, here is the box. I believe this is the same size as all of, um, as the mine shaft, uh, the mine, abandoned mine shaft set. As you can see, the piece count, the number, um, there's peace count because I don't live in the UK. Um, and uh, you can see a great shot of the set. And um, actually what I noticed is that the bees are chasing the villager. And villagers are, are totally non-hostile. So um, they cannot attack, uh, which is a bit weird. But f for um, the designer or whatever to um, put the bees in that position. And the villager right there, which is a bit weird. They could just put it right there, but... You know, that's something I noticed that I want to point out. And also, there's a big bee right here. I love what they're doing. This amazing box art and one of the mobs on the top, right? See the Lego Minecraft logo? The clouds on the top. And on top, you can see a good, sh nice job of the, all the figures together. And even the angry bee. And just an actual size comparison. On the side, got more dirt. And Lego Life logo. You see some of the features, but none of these photos uh, show the bee launching figure, uh, feature, which, um, yeah, I, I kind of made that up. But uh, Or maybe they, um, you can see the bees are kind of, this bee is kind of coming out. So maybe they didn't have enough space for just a sm such a small box. See amazing shots of this set. The angry bees right there. And there's a Lego Minecraft logo and a B on the side. And yeah.
and here are the instructions. Pretty basic. QR code if you want to build it online or digital. Not all the pieces in included with the set and needed to build the set. You can see the set over here and the rest of the sets that have been included in this wave. In January 2021 wave. I do have that set. Uh, uh, go ahead and check out the review in, um, in the channel. You can see... Uh, all the nice photos of how build set and the birch tree. And there's a nice wind, but no Minecraft uh, figure. It'll be really nice to see a Minecraft figure on the back. These wind instru instructions. And uh, yeah. So overall the set, um, I think this is a great addition to uh, your Minecraft world or mock. Uh, you get a bunch of great stuff. You get a bunch of bees. You get a total of eight bees that's a lot of mobs for one set this is probably the set with the most mobs ever i don't know um like i probably look it up i don't know i don't keep track of this stuff but man you just get a bunch of great stuff you get the beekeeper and you get the villager and you get a bunch of bees uh the sheep right there uh not so valuable but it's cool i think i added a little extra mob yeah so this mob this um set has a total of nine mobs that is insane um but yeah, yeah, honeycombs right here, which is a great addition uh, to your uh, piece collection and your Lego collection. Um, the angry bees. Uh, so I don't like that you just uh, have to sit them there. Um, and uh, if you try to take them out, that little technic stuff will uh, just stay there. And also, this gear right here, you can't really connect it, so it has to be just left out, or you can cover it up with your own bricks. So yeah, I don't have much to say about this set. That's bad. Um, I do uh, kind of recommend it if you're trying to build a Minecraft world or not. Um, it's a nice set. Um, when I was at Target, I was I just got it because I thought it was a fun. It would be a fun set to review, and I and I did. I do not regret this set. Uh, you probably won't. I'm a I'm a big Minecraft fan. Um, I love these Lego Minecraft figures and these builds, and uh, you're getting a lot. Uh, for twenty dollars, you're getting a villager, an exclusive figure. You're getting Elytra, which I believe this is the first time ever we're getting Elytra. I don't know, and it's really fun for kids because you can launch out the bees, and you know, um, they're cute. You know, a lot of uh, little kids will like uh, getting the set and building it. I, I totally recommend it if you're buying this for uh, a friend's birthday birthday party or whatever um yeah if you're buying this for yourself i also recommend it i did not um uh, uh, i did not uh regret it at all i had no regret buying this even though it was, it was twenty dollars uh but uh yeah i have no regret i love this set it's a great set it's a great addition to uh your minecraft world and your minecraft collection so um yeah, you get stripped wood, very nice, but the stripped wood looks a little uh, weird, in my opinion. It doesn't really look like stripped wood. Maybe we'll fix that in the future. And uh, you also get a hive. So yeah, you're getting a lot for just $20. I love what they're doing Lego Minecraft. They're getting much better. Uh, and uh, Lego Star Wars, um, not so much, but I am excited for the summer sets. I'm kind of uh, uh, getting a little uh, bored of Lego Star Wars at the moment. But I... But, yeah, so you won't be seeing me doing a ton of reviews on LEGO Star Wars. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be focusing on other stuff since LEGO Star Wars is just, um, yeah, it's not that amazing at the moment. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe if you liked the video. And, of course, leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and peace out.